This is the Spiegel SP3201 sewing machine. It's for beginners. I've always wanted to learn how to sew, but I've never owned a sewing machine, so this machine is perfect for me. What I like about it is that it gives me the instructions printed on it for threading the bobbin and the needle in case I forget. You know, I did consult the instruction manual first, of course, to get myself familiar with the machine, but so that I don't have to do that every time until I'm more familiar with doing this over and over again. It shows you step one for threading, you know, your bobbin around, your bobbin, the thread for the bobbin around here, you know, place your bobbin on here, push it to the side. Same with threading your needle. Step one, two, three, goes back around, four, five, six, seven. Um, it has an automatic needle threader down here, which I need to practice more using because I haven't really perfected using that. Um, your bobbin instructions for where to wrap things around. Um, you know, your latch in the back for lifting the foot is back here. Um, your accessory case is right in front, and they give you a zipper foot, a button foot. Uh, I, of course, haven't figured out how to use those, those yet. Well, I haven't actually needed to use those. Extra bobbins. This tool right here, I did actually have to pull this out already. Um, and the, this is should have taken out of the bag for you. But in here, it's a little uh, screwdriver type band in there, if you can see that. Um, that unscrews the plate. I got my bathroom material in there was trying to fix the pocket stuck in the, my niece told me this is the feed dog down there. So I had to take the plate off and I was at first trying to use a regular screwdriver, which does not fit under here. And I looked at the instruction manual and I realized it gave me this tool to take this off to get the fabric out in there. Your dial over here for changing your stitches. Um, if you want the S1 or the S2, you have to come over here and adjust this over here to S2 or S1 first. That's where the, that's where the dial for stitching, you know, your stitch tension, your stitch width. Um, of course, you know, the power uh, switch right here for on and off for the light, obviously. I think that's standard for a sewing machine. But it just gives you everything you need for a beginner machine. You know, like I said, I have no experience and I've been able to use this to fix my bathrobe pocket, to hem some pants for my son and my daughter. The only problem is I will say that I does take some practice. <laughs> I haven't perfected doing a um, straight <laughs> um, stitching. I guess everything takes a little practice getting used to everything, you know, actually doing work with it. But it's been a very easy machine to use and I would highly recommend it to anybody who is new to sewing and might be intimidated because this machine you know has been really easy to use my niece who's three classes into uh, a sewing class came over and was so excited by this machine she said the ones that they have at her class are older and you know doesn't have any of the stuff printed on here or these you know stitching features or anything like this and it does come with a bag too to uh, keep the dust off so they really thought of everything you would need um, in this Spiegel SP3201 Wait, you haven't seen the best part yet. Here are some amazing offers and specials available for one time only. You can't afford to miss it.